okay, let's dance paper two of November 2022. And this is the math lit paper. Let's just jump into it. Please always remember to read your instructions, right? A big thing with your instructions is making sure that you have all your annexures, making sure you start each question on a new page, showing all your calculations, rounding off only your final answers, right? And then also making sure you use your units and not thinking that maps and diagrams are drawn to scale. That's always important. So let's jump in. Our first question here is on time, right? And this is something students seem to struggle with. So let's make sure we get this correct. Question one. Various clocks indicating time are shown below. So these ones here are what we call analog. And these ones here are what we call digital, right? You should know that by now. Then it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Which one of the following, X, Y, or Z, best describes the time displayed on each clock? So every clock has something in common here. Right. When you're looking at the digital ones, you should be thinking, OK, the 45 is what they have in common. Let's look at these times and convert them into digital so that we have everything in the same format. Over here, we have 545. How do I know that? The shorthand, remember, is for the hour. The long hand is for the minute. Right. So here it would be 245. Here it would be 1245. And here, right, over here would be 745, okay? So now all of them have 45, right? Which could be written as 45 minutes past or understood or as quarter two, because remember, it's 15 minutes then to the next hour. So it's not nine minutes to the next hour. That one's definitely not right because we just said it's 15 minutes to. 45 minutes to the next hour. No, it's 45 minutes past the hour. So it should be Z, but let's check. A quarter to the next hour. So that's it there, right? So remember to write your question nicely like that. 1.1.1 1. 1. 1, and your answer is Z. Let's go on to the next question. It says, name the two time formats used to display time on the clocks. So remember I said to you analog and digital, right? Let's just make sure you understand what that means. So it'd be analog and digital. Right, so digital is generally what we call 24 hour format, right? And analog is what we call 12 hour format, right? Because we know with, the, with an analog watch, what it does is it goes round the face twice a day, whereas with digital, it just changes from one to 24 and starts again when a new day starts. So just to note the difference there. Let's go into the next question. It says, oh, I'm knocking everything over here. Write down in words the time displayed on clock B. Now, clock B is there. It's 12.45. But when you were t if you're telling someone the time, you'd say, okay, it's quarter to one in the afternoon, right? So let's write that out. You'd say quarter to one in the afternoon. And that would be your answer, okay? So important because here when you come to time you need to think about how you would say it right you wouldn't say 12 45 you would say quarter to one so just be careful there two questions left for this video firstly it says write down the number of clocks that clearly indicates that clearly indicates a time in the afternoon okay so all of these right all of the um, analog ones, we don't actually know if it's in the e if it's in the afternoon or if it's in the morning, right? There could be either, either, either. Oh, this one we forgot yeah. This one would be 4.45, okay? That could be in the morning, that could be in the morning, that could be in the morning, that could be in the morning. This is the morning, right? We know that is morning, okay? This one could also be either, right? So the only two that we know are in the afternoon are these two. Okay, so B and E, and it didn't ask us for which ones, it just said how many. So the answer would be two. Okay, and that's your answer there. One more question for this video, right? And let's make sure we get it. It says convert 16 hours and 45 minutes into minutes. Okay, how many minutes are there in an hour? Well, we know that there's 60, right? So you say, let's convert those 16 hours to minutes. And that would be that. But we're not done. We have to add then 45. Okay, add. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. What am I doing? Plus 45. And your answer would be this many minutes. And please remember your units. And we are done with this question. And we can move on to the next one.